Hey guys, welcome back to the Florida Boys Outdoors channel. Um, today we're going to be doing some local bass fishing. Uh, it's about the best day for weather that we've had lately, so we're going to try to get out here, try to get hopefully out some fish. Yeah, hopefully the rain hasn't chewing. Uh, the water temps are up right now. The water's up in general, so we start to see how we do today. I'm going to start off a little black and blue jig. See if we can't pick something up. Normally, whenever I'm fishing the jig, just like to get it out there. Let it hit the bottom. The good thing about the jig is they're very versatile. You can just swim them, drag them along the bottom, you know, see what happens, you know, just do a whole bunch of different things. See what works for you in your area. Also, too, guys, my setups may look a little wonky. Um, I had a lot of better setups, but unfortunately, they were uh, they were lost to the trunk of my car. So, uh, ripping the chat to them. But uh, we're making do with what we have. Uh, right now, I got a Lose Xfinity um, Speed Spool Bait Caster on like this, like, what is it like? It's a seven foot, 11, almost eight inch rod. Um, call it the broomstick, because that is basically what it is, the broomstick. But it gets the job done. Then I got my little Daiwa, uh, what is this? Daiwa Laguna on a little Daiwa of rod not sure exactly what size but i think it's like a seven foot or a six six but they both get the job done so yeah all right guys so we just gave the spot a try so we actually didn't catch any fish we caught one and that was it i missed a bite after i turned the camera off but we're actually gonna be heading out to the next spot so we'll catch it the next one peace out another one another one my bro is slaying them today bro swim bait seems to be the move swim bait is the move i think Also, guys, just a fair warning that, you know, I am new to this. Um, a lot of people just tell me that I should do it because, I mean, I do fish a lot. But I take a lot of people on trips, you know, I put them on fish and everything. And they're like, man, you should start recording all this. And I was like, well, I mean, you know, I never thought about it. I mean, I have, but I've never put in the effort. So I'm just new to getting into this. Um, so you guys just bear with me. I'm trying to make them as best as I can. Um, so everything may not be perfect just yet, but, you know, bear with me. And as we go growing more and more. I will learn everything better, you know, get everything right. So yeah, but hope you guys just enjoy the footage, you know, just seeing, you know, just encouraging you guys to get out there, you know, just hit some of your local ponds, you know, see, see what happens, man. Enjoy the outdoors. Oh, got one. There we go. First one for me and a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see that right there. Nice one on a little black and blue jig, just reeling it. Nice steady retrieve. Yeah, you're right, these fish are cold though. There we go. Got them out, get a nice safe release on them. Beautiful fish. Oh, bad cast, bad cast. Yeah, that was kind of relatively close to the bank. Also, guys, huge shout out to um to Native. I mean, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but like, I use Native a lot. I've been using them for about two years now, three years. Um, they're a very inexpensive uh, polarized fishing brand. You can get very high quality, good glasses, and they offer lifetime warranty for like 70 bucks. You know, you can get some glasses for like 70, some like 80. I think they're like. Oh, he just missed one right there. Um, like I said, they're very inexpensive uh, fishing brand of sunglasses. So, I mean, if you guys just want to give that, you know, look in there for anybody that's getting into fishing, you know, needs polarized glasses or anything. Oh, you just lost it? Oh, dang. He's going in for the bait, guys. So me and my brother both wear native sunglasses. Um, a very good brand for the money. They offer lifetime warranties, so you know if they ever break, anything's wrong with them, just return them. They'll uh, they'll fix your pair, or they'll get you a new pair for you. So just something to keep in mind for anybody's getting into fishing. You know, I know Christmas just passed, but any birthday gifts or anything you'd like to ask for, definitely recommend Native being one of them. Um, 
I've been rocking these now. My brother rocks the, uh, not exactly sure which model, but the square shaded ones, so. <laughs> Bro, had to go in for the swim bait. Bro, so I just stopped recording. Hey, hold on, don't take that yet. So as I'm telling you guys that this side of the pond is like the better side of the pond for fish here, I freaking smoked like a five pounder, dude. Look, choke that jig, just steady retrieving it. That's what, That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's why I tell you all to get out there and get fishing, man. These big time winter bass are chewing right now, man. Chewing. I wish I was recording, but I had literally just stopped recording to look at my footage that I have so far and freaking smoked like a freaking six, five pounder, bro. Like, Jesus. <laughs> it's my first big bass of 2024, man. Huge bass. Choke that little jig. Oh, dude. Oh my God, bro. Healthy, healthy fish, man. Healthy, healthy fish. Got to be at least a five, six pounder. Look at that. Look at that mouth. <laughs> Jesus. Get a nice release on this big girl. Make sure I got the camera angles right. You guys are going to flame me for the release and everything, but I'm trying my best, guys. Jesus. Look at that big girl. Look at her go. Jesus. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, dude, my first big fish of 2024, man. Oh, man, that sucks, man. Yeah, I know. That sucks. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this cold weather is getting to some of our Florida bass. There's a solid, probably like one and a half pounder right there. And they're getting to some of our Florida even too. Yep. Like I said, guys, I mean, everybody thinks Florida is just, you know, come cast a bait, catch a fish. I mean, in South Florida, it is like that. I personally have fish there, but I've always seen the videos and everything. South Florida is that way, you know. South Florida is what they describe it to be. But down here um, in Central Florida, you know, North Florida, I mean, fishing is a little bit harder. I'm not going to say it's hard, but, you know, you do actually have to put work in. You know, you actually have to try to catch fish, unlike um, South Florida. So, you know, just don't think it's so easy down here. But whenever, whenever you catch fish and everything, it's definitely rewarding. I mean, I just caught, like, probably like a five and a half, six pounder. Definitely was not expecting that. One of my biggest fish of 2024 so far. But, man, that was a good fight. Also, I'm just working the, the edges right here, just off the edges and slowly retrieving my jig. I really, really be on your toes because, you know, during this cold weather, you don't get much bites. You know, you got to take what you get. Gotta make it worth it. Let's see if we can pull something by the drain. Nothing. Here, let's cast right here. Towards this shoreline. Oh, got no. There we go, boys. Nice one, too. Oh, spit it right at the bank. <laughs> what? Dang, so that's what? One for me, two for you, and I lost one. Not too bad at the first pond so far. Right here's a little deeper section of the pond. Oh, well, it's probably my favorite part of the pond to fish. It's a little deeper. Oh, oh. Had a bite on the fall. Dang, I was talking to the camera and I missed that bite. That always sucks. I mean, hey, that's fishing. You win some, you lose some. That's how it goes out here. Oh, nice one. Oh, right at the bank. That's crazy, too. I see you hooking them, like, real hard. I don't know how they're getting off. We're going to have to go buy some more. Uh... That's why y'all bring extra baits with y'all guys. Yeah, that's why you bring extra baits when you walk in the pond, guys. We're going to have to go buy more uh, jig heads. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad in this audio right now. It's pretty windy out here, but I mean, the fish are chewing, so can't complain about the day, you know? Like I said, you guys just work with me, please, you know? New to this stuff, I'm getting into it, so try to go 
making everything better as I go along learning more. So yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video when I do post this. So you guys, we're at the third spot today. This is a little roadside pond. We're gonna give it a shot. Um, see what happens, so yeah. Gonna start off with my jig like I've been doing. Jig been doing pretty good. Let's give it a cast right here. We're in just a little corner pocket. We're gonna let it hit bottom. It is very clear water here, so this might be a little better. Oh, got one already. Already. Yeah. On already. First cast. First cast magic. First cast magic. Look at that, guys. Oh, nice, pretty fish. Nice little healthy fish. Hit that jig pretty quick. Nice fish. Nice release on him. Oh no, buddy, I was gonna say, don't swim back. Oh, brother's on too already, bro. <laughs> hey, this might be a little hot honey hole. Huh? Got no, another one. Nice little fish, man. Beautiful little fish. Super cold, but nice little healthy fish. Dude, this water is crystal clear. Just doing like I have been, just casting it out, letting it hit bottom and steady retrieve. Got another one. Another one. Another one, darn it. Bro, they're all like the same size. Let's say the same fish. <laughs> they're all like the same size. It makes sure oh yeah, it definitely isn't the same fish. He doesn't have the ripped lip. But I mean, action packed in this little pond, man. Like I said, guys, I do not condone trespassing and getting in trouble. You know, do it at your own risk. So, yeah, it keeps that in mind. It's been a while since I found a pond like this where we just throw in. And then, dude, it's so clear. Got another one? No. I think I might have had one, but I didn't realize it. Oh, I seen him right at the bank. That was cool. Oh, oh. Dude, action packed in this little pond, man. We were missing fish left and right, hooking up left and right. <laughs> Crazy day right here, man. Good thing we came out, bro. Oh, look, there's a nice little bass swimming right in front of us. Dude, they are all over the place right here, bro. I'm about to throw my Ned rig. Let's see if they want Ned rig. Little Ned rig. Let's see if they want a little Ned rig action. Better one? Little dinker. <laughs> he said we ain't catching a thing, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, clearly we're catching fish, man. Sounds like my boy here. Hey, man. A lot of people are gonna hate, especially whenever they can't do what you can do, man. I'll just keep that in mind. Let people hate, bro. But there's no point carrying two poles. Literally, bro, they seem to be hitting one thing, right? Better one? That's a better one. For sure, for sure. Nice, nice. Definitely a better, a better fish. Dude, it's just crazy how full of fish this pond is. It's crystal clear too. Yeah, for a crystal, crystal clear. I mean, crystal clear ponds like this full of fish are hard to come across. I mean, that could also be another reason why they're just chewing anything because the way they're, these ponds are so clear, maybe they're not used to seeing such dark, you know, lures and everything. So be another reason but yeah, I'm not complaining man 
man this one little pond has been so action-packed that i can just post this and make one video out of it <laughs> there's one pond by itself it's just been producing like crazy you got how many you got i like four i think three or four I mean, hey, they're not big ones, but they fight, and they're, they're the fish we're looking after, bro, that we're looking for, so. Can't complain with that. Definitely just can't complain with a good day of fishing like this. All right, guys. Guarantee we will pull a fish right out of here in this corner. We have to. We have to pull a fish out here. Told you. Look at that. Look at that. Too easy, bro. Too easy. <laughs> oh, man, he's tiny. It's probably as big as my net rig. <laughs> now that we can get a second one out of there? You think we can get a second one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can get a second one on there. Second net rig fish out of there. Let's see if we can get a second one. Another one? <laughs> bro, this pond is on fire, bro. Another one. Oh, better one? Ah, never mind. <laughs> Man. Look, just for example, we just said they're eating anything. I just caught one off the My little guy choked the nettery. <laughs> My brother just picked up my jig. Let's see if he can make it happen. This is also a little good area because, I mean, if you guys look at it, the bank, like, kind of slopes off. So I'm pretty sure up here it does the same thing. Here yeah, we're throwing little Guggen Squad swim baits. I have mine on a little uh, weighted jig head with a red eye. And then he just has his on a little ball jig head. Nothing too fancy. Hey, you see it's working. Bro. Yeah. Sometimes the simplest things are the best things. You can ask him all the time. I throw little stuff like this. Yep. Yeah, he's always the type, the type to throw small little swim baits and little stuff. But I mean, gets the job done, so. That'd be a nice little lake to fish. We had a John boat. Well, we do have a John boat, but. If we could get the John boat in there, that'd be a money spot to fish. Like, for sure. I mean, hey guys, sometimes it doesn't hurt. I mean, I mean, like in places like that, you know, like, you know, we got the homeowner right there and then you got that nice spot right there. Sometimes it doesn't hurt just to ask, man. Another one. Oh, better one. Better one? Oh, there am I. I lied, guys. <laughs> Little guy. He caught me off guard because I, I was talking while my bait was in the water. I think he hit it on the fall. Another one, guys. <laughs> this is too easy here in this pond. I was just talking about earlier at the other pond how, like, everybody thinks fishing Florida is so easy. And I was talking about how it's not like that. And everybody's going to see this video and be like, yeah, it's, that, it's definitely like that. It's that easy. <laughs> And this little pond has to be stocked. I mean, dude, it's like fish back to back to back. I was about to say already, bro. Did you for real? These little dinks are on fire, dude. They're all over the swim base. All right, guys. So overall, it's a pretty good day of fishing. Uh, we caught probably like, well, like 20 bass in total. Shit, all the 20, yeah. yeah, we caught a bunch of bass in total. This last pond really paid off. I mean, we caught like most, the majority of the bass here. It's a good way to end um, the afternoon. Yeah, def definitely a good way to end the afternoon. Um, still stoked about the like five and a half pounder I caught at the other pond. So, um, so 
yeah. It's gonna be it. it too. It's gonna be it for our video today. Hopefully, whenever I post it, you guys enjoy it. So yeah. Peace out.